In today's Monday makeup lesson, I want to show you how to create this really classic black smoky eye. I've been wearing this for the last few weeks and I just love that classic feel of a black smoky eye. There's something a little old school about it as well, so I went a little old school with the products that I picked for this. I'm feeling very like 2012 kind of feel to this tutorial and I hope that you guys will enjoy this one. I also want to give a shout out to the people that have been sending me their makeup looks. You have no idea how inspired I get when you guys send me the looks that you recreate. So I just want to give you guys a shout out and say thank you for sharing them with me. And for anyone who hasn't, then definitely send them over to my Instagram. It's done privately. I don't share them publicly or anything like that. Or you can tag me if you do have a public look that you'd like me to see. But you guys really inspire me. So thank you so much for recreating my looks. It really keeps me going on my bad days. Now, if you're new here to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started in creating this classic smoky eye. So I'm going a little old school. I'm going to be using these little pots by NYX. Do you remember NYX? I haven't used them in so long. So we're going to take a shade, at least one shade lighter than our skin tone. So make sure you customize this to work for you. This is one shade lighter than my skin. You're also going to need a shade, at least two shades darker than your skin, something kind of mid-range, similar to your contour bronzer tones. And then lastly, you're going to need a black, a scary black shade, but we're not going to be scared by it because I'm going to show you how to make sure that it's going to work for you and the little tips and tricks along the way. And my favorite tip is to use a cream base. I love cream bases and this is so old school. This is something that has been around for so long. This is going to be placed down as a base for us and it's just going to help everything really come together. But if you don't have this, don't worry, you can still create the look. So here is the palette that we're using. We have our base, we have our light, we have our medium, and we have our dark. And now we're ready to start applying. So as always, we're gonna start by applying an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. This is gonna give our eyeshadow something to hold on to so that they last longer, while also creating a blank canvas for us to work on because this is slightly tinted. Now here is a scenario that used to go in my head all the time because we are gonna be using a dark kind of chocolatey base. So I always used to ask myself, well, do I need to apply a primer? And for me, I just find it's always best to apply a primer. It's just gonna help everything last longer. And because we're only going to be applying that base in a particular area, it's best to prime the entire area just to be on the safe side. So I just applied that from a lash line up to the brows. So sticking with that same brush, we're going to apply that base. And actually this brush is available in the Blank Canvas Cosmetics One Stop Brow Set, which is one of my favorites. And Blank Canvas Cosmetics is now available in Dunn stores, which is one of my favorite stores. Now this isn't sponsored. I'm actually just so excited that they're actually going to be in Dunn stores. It's kind of a big deal and I'm really, really happy for them. Now, obviously my discount code, my affiliated code only ever works on the website, but I just wanted to give them a shout out because I'm just super proud of how far Blank Canvas has gone. And I just wanted to let you guys know that you can go and buy them in Dunn stores, which is really exciting. So just giving them a simple shout out and I hope you guys will go and check them out. So yes, we are going to stick to that same brush that's available in the kit and we're going to be applying a cream base just on the lower part of the lid. So only apply this where you want the black to really hold. This is going to do two things. It's going to add a little bit more warmth to the black, which is really flattering. As you get a little bit older, I'm moving away from the black for my skin tone. It doesn't quite work. It looks a little harsh. So adding a little bit more warmth with a brown underneath definitely helps to complement my eyes and my skin tone just that little bit more. The other thing that this is going to do is it's going to add a little bit more grip. So the black is going to be able to lay on top of something, grip hold of something, and we're going to end up with less fallout, which is a great thing if you're using black eyeshadow. I would also recommend doing your eyes first if you're applying black eyeshadow. That's a really important step. But before we go in with the black eyeshadow, I'm just going to set underneath my brows using that light shade. So this is about one shade lighter than my skin tone, maybe a little bit more. And this is just going to hold this in place and add a little bit more brightness underneath the brows, which is a very important step when you're doing a smoky eye. 
Now sticking with that same brush, I'm going to take our medium shade. So this should be at least two shades darker than your skin tone. Think of like your contour, your bronzer. You can swap that out if you want to. And this is going to be applied into the crease of the eye. So above the lid, slightly into that area, which is kind of like the brow bone area, but not so high. And I'm basically doing a stamping motion using this brush and then we're going to switch to a blending brush. Now this is also available in the same set. I'm going to hold the brush a little further down in front of me and then do little strokes back and forth just to blend out what we applied using the slightly flatter kind of panel brush. This is really important to make sure that your blend is really nice for this and also to make sure that none of this ends up on that slightly warm base that we've applied because we want to keep that slightly damp so that we can apply the black next. So once you have a really good blend, we're going to move on to applying that black shade, which I know can be kind of scary, but don't worry because we have that cream base underneath. So we're going to take a slightly smaller brush, or you can use your fingertips if you want, but a slightly smaller kind of tapered brush or a pencil brush is going to work really great. That's the one that I'm using here. And you're basically going to pack this black shade over the top of what we applied and then just slowly start to blend this. I want you to apply a very small amount and slowly build this up as you go. You're basically going to do this in a stripe right at the lash line. Don't worry about it looking like a stripe right away. That's okay because then we can softly blend it as we go. It's all about that soft blending process, picking up a little bit, applying it, picking up a little bit and applying it. And as you go, you're going to get a lot more depth right at the lash line, which is what we really want. Now to blend it out, I'm going to take a little bit more of that contour shade on that same brush. And what this is going to do is almost blend the two of the shades together because we're applying it with the same brush, which is a very important step. We're going to be using this brush slightly higher. So go above the base that we applied because we don't want to kind of go into the darker area. We want to blend out the edges of the darker area. So you want to do little smudging motions, which is a very soft back and forth. This brush does a lot of the work for you. It's actually one of my favorite brushes. It's something that I don't use very often, but I love this brush. It's so soft. It's so precise, but it also has a lot of movement. I love it. And then if you need to pick up a little bit more of that black, apply it right at the lash line and then softly kind of smudge it up and everything should blend really nicely together. One final step is to take that blending brush again and just to work around the edges. Make sure it's the edges. Now, if you have overblended or you're a natural overblender, skip this step altogether. This is only for people who aren't overblenders and maybe have a little bit more of a stripey look. We just want to make sure it's nice and soft for you. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. And then the next step is to apply lots of mascara. I'm going to be applying some falsies and I finally found my little tiny eyelash curler. It's so little and small. I absolutely love it, but it's great for getting right to the inner corner. I actually pulled out the lashes on my inner corner so they don't curl anymore. They just refuse to curl, but this guy actually gets right in there and it actually curls for the first time in like seven years. I'm then going to go in with a black liner. A lot of people would use this as the base, but I wanted to use the warm base because I just find that it blends everything really nicely and also kind of complements my eye and my skin tone just that little bit more. So I'm just going to be applying this on the waterline instead of the actual lid. I applied lots of mascara underneath the eye because I have quite a heavy lash on top just to add some balance. And then I took the brush that we applied that base with and what I did is I took a little bit of shadow, a mixture of kind of the two darker shades and just kind of smudged this underneath. Just, just very, very small amount. I don't want this to be a really dramatic smoky eye. I want it to be like all on the lid and then just definition underneath. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. Now, I know it looks a little stripey, but it's kind of blended at the same time, but it's just gonna add that little kind of pop of like, yeah, I have a smoky eye. And it just adds that more drama to the look, which is what I really like. 
And I've actually been seeing this a lot on TV in TV shows. So I feel like the classic black smoky eye is really making a comeback, which really inspired me. It also really inspired me because Davey pointed out someone who was wearing a smoky eye and said, oh, they have really nice makeup on. And I said, yes, they do, my love. And I'm going to create that look now. <laughs> So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Definitely let me know if you recreate it. I would love to see it. I promise you, I don't share what people create. I just love to see it and we kind of talk about it and stuff. So I'd love to see you guys recreate this love. You can tag me or you can send it to me. I'd love to see it. But I hope you guys are keeping well. I am sorry that I missed the last few uploads. It's kind of become unlike me to miss a week. But, you know, I talked about how it was kind of a difficult week for me. And then the following week was even harder. And then the following week was even harder. And the following week was even harder. And it's just progressively getting worse. And this week is going to be a really hard week. So I'm just going to ask you guys a favor. I'm going to ask you guys to send good vibes out in the world. Not just for me, but for yourself and for anybody who needs it. And just hoping that we can create a really, a really positive week and that things are going to be going to be good and they're going to be okay but I'm sending love to anybody who is struggling and I'm sending you all all a hug so that's kind of what I wanted to say but be kind to yourself be kind to others as always and I will see you in the next one hopefully really soon